Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland here doing a case of 2017 Bowman's Best Baseball. It's back. We only have three cases, and the next one is already in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so check it out. This is pick your team number 20 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. A big thank you to these folks for getting into the action on a Wednesday, Wednesday the 7th, 2018. Eight box, pick your team number 2-0. Rich with that last bot mojo Mets. And there's everyone else. There you have it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting into this. Always uh, Bowman's best, always a fan favorite. Believe it or not, folks, we are we're getting pretty close to uh, we're getting pretty close to pitchers and catchers reporting. By the way, this was this is just a series one poster. We're gonna be giving away giving those away in a different break. All right, two, four, six, eight boxes right here. We'll start from this side. Good luck, everybody. Oh, you know what I want to have up? And I'll share this link with everybody who's watching on the YouTube stream right now. I always like pulling up, I always like having a little information on hand while I do this break. The first bit of information you want to see, of course, is the uh, 2017 baseball draft, Major League Baseball draft. Obviously, Bowman's best. We're going to see a lot more uh, future stars and, uh, and early prospect, young prospects in this one. And I also want to, what, what's the latest baseball news today, folks? V very quiet on the, uh, on the free agent front. Not, not, not much is happening. I saw on, on, a, on MLB Network today, I was getting ready for work, that uh, that JD Martinez is getting frustrated with negotiations with the Red Sox. There's that. You know, you Darvish still not signed. Arietta still not signed. The Mets did sign Todd Frazier, but a, but a much smaller contract than I would have anticipated for Todd Frazier. Irvin Santana out 10 to 12 weeks following surgery on his finger. Uh, looks like the Rangers are signing a former. Cardinals closer, the Korean closer, Sun Hwan Oh, or Oh Sun Hwan. Astros taking care of George Springer for a couple of years. Diamondback signing Alex Avila. Uh, looks like Philly signing Ryan Flaherty. You know, that's really not that much going on. Um, looks like the uh, the Wasserman agency announced Wednesday that it they terminated its relationship with Yasiel Puig. That's kind of interesting. It's weird. Oh, huh. yeah. Not not clear what exactly prompted the decision to cut ties with Puig. Although it's like a behavioral issue, but it seems like he was. Seems I thought that he was uh he was pretty pretty well behaved over the last season. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Russell Wilson traded uh, the Yankees acquiring Russell Wilson. There's the biggest news of the off season. The Yankees and Rangers have worked out a deal that will deliver the baseball rights to Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson from Texas to New York. Unknown future considerations will make up the return. Under what circumstance, tell, let's talk about this, folks. Under what circumstance would you see Russell Wilson uh, becoming a baseball, sw switching to baseball? Wow, that's a start. Brandon McKay, that's a great start for the Rays. Landed with the Rays. That's, in his, that, that's him as a first baseman, also a pitcher. I think the, I think the Rays are serious about making him a, uh, a legit two-way player. He was a number four pick. Fourth pick in the most recent draft. Oh, and we'll randomize these left and right on the randomizer. There's Logan Warmoth for the Blue Jays.
Blue Jays. That was a late pickup, I think. Matthew White with that one. And there's Sean Newcomb for the Braves out of 150. That'll go to, to uh, Nick. Nick with that one. On the other side, we've got Rymel Tapia, 4 out of 10. It's always nice to see those lower numbers. Rockies, that goes to uh, John Maxwell. Did Ch Rich is saying Chad Henney did it? Got a redemption here. Any guesses on that redemption? David Dahl for the Rockies out of 250. And Adam Hazley for the Philadelphia Phillies. That goes to Chris Parent with the Phillies. All right, the redemption is Best of 2017 Autograph Gold Refractor. I think those are out of 50 of D. Dansby? A? N? F, uh, Daniel? Daniel Murphy, then. That's what I think. Huh? Murph? Daniel Murph. <laughs> Daniel Murphy. There you go, Nationals. Josh Philo with that one. Nice one for the Nats. All right, next box. I think for Russell Wilson to actually play play baseball, it would certainly have to be a. Uh, an injury related thing like a like a lower lower body injury I mean I don't know if he was a I don't know if he was a decent hitter in high school or he probably was projected as a pitcher right with an arm you know what I mean uh, so I, I would assume that it would be a lower for Russell Wilson to actually play a baseball lower body injury in the NFL you know gets him to retire from the NFL effectively and then switch to uh, switch to baseball, and then kind of come up the ranks there. So I mean, there could be a lot. I mean, football wise, I'll, I mean, all it would take would be like, you know, I mean, knock on wood. I don't, I don't wish this upon anybody, but all it takes is like. For him to get his bell rung, you know, to, to get a really bad concussion. And then for him to say, you know what, like, <laughs> not for me anymore, you know. Just got to think about my family, et cetera, et cetera. He, maybe he can make the switch to baseball while he's still relatively young. This is what Arthur's looking for. He's looking for this, but with an autograph on it. That's what we're searching for. Oh, nice. Look at this. Keston Hiuda. That's a great one for Rory and his brew crew. Nice one, Rory. Second baseman. It's a little arm trouble, I think. But a great hitter. He, he raked at UC Irvine down here in Southern California. He was born out here, too. I think Valencia. So he's a Southern California kid. Drafted by the Brewers number nine overall in the 2017 draft. A lot, a lot expected from him. Ian Happ, what's the Haps? 14 out of 50 for the Cubbies. Adam Wilson. And Ron, Roniel Routis for the Red Sox. That'll go to Adam Wilson. Oh, that he was a, so he was a second baseman? Sam Golden saying Russell Wilson was a second baseman. That's interesting.
Cespedes Atomic Refractor. And there's Kevin Maiton. Nice Kevin Maiton for the Braves. Still Braves edition in this one. Nick B with that. Of course, if you remember in the offseason, there was a big international money scandal with the Braves. Some guys, some executive got banned from baseball. They lost all their international prospects, like this big one right here. Uh, he actually went to the Angels. He's on the Angels in the Angels organization now with this guy. Should be one more autograph. There it is. It's the Boz, Shane Boz, for the Pirates. That'll go to Scott, Scott V with that one. Dano saying that watching watching Russell Wilson take grounders was kind of funny. All right, next box. Will we ever see a two-sport player again? Like like a, a two-sport player that is actually kind of decent, you know what I mean? I'm, we're t I'm talking like Deion Sanders. I'm talking like Bo Jackson. I'm talking like even like Brian Jordan, I think. I remember Brian Jordan. I think he played for the Falcons and the Braves for a little bit. I mean, he eventually switched full-time to baseball, but for a few seasons, he gave it a shot. Um, are we going to see that again? Rich says no. I'm inclined to I'm, I'm inclined to lean with Rich. I feel like there's just way too much money involved, way too much specialization in the in the sports involved, and I think just organizations don't want to take that risk. <laughs> Michael Jordan, right, right. There's a two-way player right there too. But I don't know. I mean. I feel like there could still be, I don't think it's going to be as common. I just don't think it's as encouraged as much from the, even from like younger ages, it's almost discouraged. They say focus on one sport, specialize, you know, in that one sport. But I just can't see it happening unless you're like a, some sort of freak of nature. I think we could see though, maybe cross sports. I don't think maybe we'll see that, but with Otani and Brendan McKay, you know, where, where, where's that Brendan McKay auto that we pulled? With Otani and Brendan McKay, like I think, I think we could see um, the uh, the pitcher hitter kind of thing. That I could see that happening. You know, I could see a little bit more of that happening in baseball. There's Cole Reagans for the Rangers. That'll go to Derek P. This is the uh, the atomic refractor version of the mirror image. This is a one per case, so we'll randomize that separately between those two teams. And there's Nate Pearson. Pear, like the fruit, or Pearson? Probably Pearson. Person? All right, there's that mini box. Tyler, what's going on? Alex Ray is to 250. And Clark Schmidt for the Yankees, for the Bronx Bombers. John Goss with that one. There's Alex Reyes at a 250. His big year was supposed to be last year, but he came down with an injury. I think this year will be the year for him. So keep your eyes on him. Got Franklin Barreto. Out of 150 for the A's, Oakland A's, John Goss as well. There's Nick B. What's going on, Nick? And another Brendan McKay. Wait, did you get? Wow. Rays, look at this. Landed. Check this out. You got pitcher Brendan McKay. And you got first baseman Brendan McKay. That's pretty huge.
So he's supposed to be the real deal. I think the Rays drafted him with the intention of being a uh, being a two way player. So that should be pretty exciting to see. All right, next box. Uh, Nick B, I think you got... Oh, you need an Acuna, Acuna auto. I think you got a couple. Oh, I was going to say, I think you got a Sean Newcomb auto and a Kevin Maitan autograph. But uh, the Ronald Acuna will be the will be the key one for the Braves this year. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have another case. We only have two more cases of Bowman's Best Baseball. So I, I, I'll be honest with you, I think we can do all three tonight. Because this the baseball season is around the corner, and I think it's uh, I think people are going to be wanting to do this uh, this Bowman's best. So get into it. Always a popular product. There, I mean, this were this is pick your team twenty. There's a reason why we've done twenty of these. Everyone loves this stuff. Good prospect hunting, and I think one per case, one or two per case generally has a vet ish autograph, like a second year player or a veteran autograph or something like that. So that usually falls one per case. All right, good luck folks. Pretty much halfway through the break. We've got Jose Ramirez, 25 out of 99 for the Tribe. I'll go to Booney. And your autograph is a nice Tristan Lutz. So now Rory's got the Hiuda, and now the Tristan Lutz as well. We pulled him a super fractor out of draft a while back of Lutz. There's Alex Fiedo out of 250 for the Tigers. He's got the Tigres in this. Mitch with the Tigers. And we've got Mad, Mad, Matt, Whiskey Sour, or Sig Sour, depending on what side you're on, or both. What is this, 1926? What does that mean? I think he forgot the book on that. So you got chapter 19, verse 26. Take your pick. Take your pick on the book. Just pick a random book. All right, on this side. We got Jeter Downs. Nice one for the Reds. I'll go to Jonathan with that one, Jonathan G, John Goss. And we've got a seven out of 50, Jorge Mateo, Baseball America insert. And Dustin Fowler for the Yankees. That'll be for Jonathan Goss. Speaking of Baseball America, I actually subscribed recently to Baseball America. I bit the bullet. I was just like, I like prospecty stuff. I like like the stuff that they write about. Gives us more knowledge for, for uh, Bowman products whenever we do. We always seem to do a lot each year. Next one. Good luck, everybody. There are a couple of case hits in here, too. Generally, there's one or two um, monochrome autographs. Those are like the sepia toned ones. So they have a sepia tone and they have, uh, and they are uh, horizontal. So we'll look out for those, too. Oh, you have a, 
Now you need some Dodgers love. There's usually like every case, every other case seems to have like a Mitchell White autograph at least. But it's been a minute or two since we've seen like a like a big Dodgers autograph pop out of here. Maybe this will be the case. All right, there's Kevin Maiton out of 150 for the Bravos. That'll be for Nick B. There's Aaron Judge and David Peterson. Two Aaron Judges. We'll save those. Those definitely still have value. Those are rookie cards. Mets, that's last spot mojo for Rich. There you go, Rich. A little something for the last spot mojo. There's Austin Beck to 99. He was the A's number six overall pick in 2017. And then we've got another Jeter Downs for the Reds. There you go, John. John Goss. Gossminer, but Goss sounds cool. All right, there you go. And Hunter Renfro. All right, next mini box. Mm, burgers. Jake Burger for Adam Wilson. We had a nice chat about burgers at the end of the show last night. So stay, stay tuned for more burger talk later tonight on Jaspi's Hobbyland. There it is. Lourdes Gurdiel Jr., Ulysses' brother in the Blue Jays organization. That's one of the case hits. Uh, it's one of the case hits for Matthew White. Those are numbered seven out of fifty, or sometimes there's just one of these. But there you go. They've got a lot. Blue Jays have a lot of family connections there. This is Ahmed Rosario. Nice one for Rich and the Mets. They got a lot of family connections there. So they got the brother of Yuli, Lourdes Gordiel, in Toronto. And then they have Dante Bichette, his kid, Bo Bichette, in Toronto. And they have Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Vlad's kid. There's Brent Honeywell out of 250. What's up, TJ? Yeah, we did, we did mention Austin Beck. No ink yet for Austin Beck, though, for whoever has the A's. Jonathan with the A's. All right, next box. Good luck. Like I said, we have another case up on the website right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. And we can run it back at least twice tonight. Or at the most twice more tonight. <laughs> I'm sure we'll, we'll obviously try to get some more. All right, just a few boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Four, eight, 12 autographs to go, at least. Sometimes if you get an insert auto, you'll get a bonus auto out of these boxes, too. go. Good luck, everyone. There's Tristan McKenzie for the Cleveland Indians. That goes to Booney for the Tribe. And there's Trevor Rogers. This is someone's people have been saying that he's actually reselling well on a secondary market for the Marlins. Darren McKenzie with that one. He's your number thirteen overall pick. 
out of Carlsbad High School in uh, New Mexico. Brett Phillips out of 250. Brett Phillips for Rory and the Brewers. And Drew Ellis. Drew Ellis for the Diamondbacks and Arthur. Not quite the Goldschmidt auto that he's looking for, but a hit nonetheless. Here's Bellinger. Although we have not seen that vet-ish auto. There's usually, I don't know if it's guaranteed, but there's usually like one per case in there. Mickey Moniak, nice. 58 out of 99. That was last year's number one overall pick. That goes to the Phillies. That'll be Chris Parent with that one. TJ saying that those Tristan McKenzie autographs are hard to hit along with those Rodgers. Yeah, we don't see too many of those guys. We don't see a lot of Mickey Moniak either. All right, two boxes to go. Sleeve up these Bellinger rookie cards too. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I did, Josh York. I did do a single-digit siren for Absolute Basketball, both on the break menu and on Twitter at Jaspie's Hobbyland. I'm certain that's been taken care of. I think that's been single digits for a little bit now. I'm sure that'll get. I'm sure we'll do that absolute basketball tonight. All right. This mini box. We got John Duplantier for Arthur and the Snakes. That's his Diamondbacks. Though the autograph he's hunting for is this guy. Austin Beck autograph for John. John Goss with the Austin Beck autograph, your number six overall pick from North Davidson High School in North Carolina. PJ Conlin, Mets. Autograph, that's three for Rich and the Last Spot Mojo. There you go, Rich. Wow, and another Brendan McKay. That's the third one. The third one for the Rays and Landon. That is strong. This one's a parallel. 92 out of 99. Very nice break for the Rays.
pretty strong. Last box. Good luck. Last four autographs. Good luck, everybody. A couple randomizers for those mirror image cards. Yeah, Josh York was asking a little bit earlier, about a minute ago, what teams are the most sought after in baseball now due to prospects? TJ saying Braves. Yep, Braves. Rays well, for that Brandon McKay. Uh, Angels due to Joe Adele and Otani will be big this season. Um... The Twins, Royce Lewis is your number one overall pick, so the number one overall pick always seems to do pretty well. All right, so here we go. Good luck, everybody. Nice atomic... Refractor raking rookies, Aaron Judge. Not numbered, but still cool. That is for John. There's another Drew Ellis for the Snakes and Arthur. Mackenzie Gore. Nice. That's your third overall pick by the Padres. That's Mike Kuntz with the Padres. He went to uh, Whiteville High School in North Carolina. Nice. So we've got Drew Ellis. We've got a couple NL West guys. And the last two autographs coming up. Wow. Wow. Raking rookies, Ian Happ, 33 out of 99. What's the haps for Adam Wilson and the Cubs? Nice. I wonder if there'll be a bonus auto. Sometimes there are. There's Evan White for the Mariners. Is that the last autograph? Evan White for the Mariners. Tice with Seattle. And maybe a parallel. No, oh, looks like that's it. So there you go. There you have it, folks. That was uh, Pick Your Team number 20 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. There is another one in the store. So if you want to chase some more of these autographs, go for it. Let's do a couple randomizers really quick. So we'll do left right randomizers on both of these. Good luck everybody. Let's go to random.org. Let's get some dice. Let's get two lists. left and right, and then the atomic one was Miguel Sano for the Twins and Kevin Maiton for the Braves. Let's randomize each list. Three and a three, six times for each list. One, six the hard way, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, right side will get them, so all the regular mirror image cards, all the right side teams will be getting those. Once again, three and a three, six times. For Twins and Braves, Twins and Braves, one, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, stays with the Twins. That goes to that goes to Jonathan G. With that one, it's a little consolation on the Twins, right here, the one per case atomic refractor. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Pick Your Team number twenty. The next one is available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got other baseball, football, basketball, soccer, hockey. So check it all out on the website, and we'll see you with you next time. We'll break with you next time.